I've come back to visit my favourite celebrity manicurist, Zoe Pocock. She's going to talk us through what brides are looking for in the perfect pedicure this season. Hi Zoe. Hello. Nice to see you again. And you? Tell me about pedicures for brides. Mainly people come in, start coming in three months before, and then we just chat about what they're looking for, and maybe there's a lot of work to be done, because obviously, you know, we've got some, maybe some hard work on the heels, not, not such nice things to talk about, but they, they want to suddenly look, they need their feet looking like the best ever. So we, we work in a treatment program. And then you've got people that come in and just want them varnished or, you know, it's all a bit last minute. So what I was going to do today was go through with you what people want from like three months, two months, then one month before the wedding. Also what they can do at home and also what they can varnish themselves as well, but because it's not just the bride. We're looking at bridesmaids, mothers, you know, so it's quite a big um, event and maybe they can all do their own you know, before the event themselves as well. So we're going to run through quite a bit today. So you don't advise that a bride comes in the week before you think she should start maybe a little bit longer? Definitely um, up to three months before. Even if you, you think your feet are fine, we're, we're looking, to, you're going to be on your feet all day and you're going to be in those shoes that you probably haven't worn in very well either. So you don't want them too soft. Then again, you don't want them any dry cracked heels. So you've got to get it just perfect, really. You, you've got to really think about, you know, you're dancing all day, you're on your feet all day, and the last thing you want is blisters, sore feet, and you want your toes to look the best. So yeah, we're going to go through hints and tips on that as well. Do you have insider tips on how to prevent blisters and sore heels on the day? Yeah, definitely wear your shoes at home for a good while before. People do think, yeah, we'll wear them a couple of hours before the wedding, you know, at home indoors. You really have got to wear those shoes in. Um, and it, that is really important. Also, think about, put the shoes on and then think about what you're having on your toes. A lot of people want them varnished and want these great looks, and they'll come in the day before without any previous visit, want them varnished, and to find out that, you know, the varnish isn't actually dry. It takes sometimes up to 72 hours to varnish to dry on your toes. So you can still make dents and imprints, like we've done it at home before. You've painted your toes, gone to bed, and you've got a sheet print on, on your toes in the morning. And so that can ruin, you know, your feeling when you want to feel your best and look really good. You've got a, a mark or a smudge on your toes. And do you find that people go for crazy pedicures when they're getting married, or do they stick to the same old thing? Everyone wants a great idea, but it all comes down to the French. We'll, we won't lose the French. It's, it's always there, and that's what just about every bride goes for because it is neat, tidy, um, you know the look and it's just the good old faithful. Now there are variations of the French which I'm going to show you today um, but it does come down to the old soft pink and maybe off-white for the toes for sure. Nothing too elaborate. So no crazy leopard print toes on your wedding day? Not that I've ever seen, no. I mean I would do it but you know invariably it is the old good old French. Okay well let's get started on my feet which have been hidden all winter and probably need quite a bit of work. Okay let's do it. Okay, now we're all finished here. Um, obviously, you try my sandals for the rest of the day. And uh, it's all up to you now to look after them. <laughs> Actually, I will just say last minute if you are going on your honeymoon, varnish um, with a clear or top coat every four to five days, so that will make them last up to three or four weeks. Stop any tripping. Wow, great That's tip. To do. Well, you've given me fantastic tips and you've given me the prettiest feet I've had in. <laughs> I, can't, uh, I can't even tell you how long. Pleasure as always, thanks for coming.